All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a discount inside of Gumroad. And then I'm also show you how to save that same link for that product. That way you could uh, send it to your customers. And when they click on it, they'll go to the product with the discounted code. And lastly, I'm gonna show you how to enter the string to the end of that hyperlink. That way when they click it, instead of going to the product page, it'll send them straight to the checkout page with the discount code already applied. And in case you don't already have a Gumroad account, I'll go ahead and link a video in the description. That way it's a, it'll help guide you to creating your Gumroad account. All right, so the first thing you wanna go is to your dashboard, your Gumroad dashboard and click checkout. You're gonna have the options, ch discounts, checkout form and upsells. So we want to go to the discounts tab and right here, you can see I already have two discounts of my own, but I'm going to go ahead and walk you through making your own. So you'll just go up here to the top, right on new discount, click that. And now we could create our discount. So right here where it says name, this is the name you're going to give to your discount. You could give it any name you want. So let's say for this purpose, we'll just say, discount course tutorial now for the discount code this one is going to be uh, automated by itself you could just click this right here and it'll regenerate a new code or if you wanted to you could go ahead and delete it and give it my own code so you could go ahead and name the code however you want spring sale or black friday I'm just choosing common ones or you could just uh generate one by random i prefer to go with the random code unless it's for a specific holiday or something just go ahead and get a random code right here and now under the product section this is where you could choose which product you want to apply the discount to so it says products to which this discount will apply. We'll say for this example, we'll say the Notion School dashboard. And if I wanted to, I could add another one and another one and as many of them as I want. <clears throat> but for this example, I'll just go ahead and do the first one, the Notion School dashboard. Or you could go ahead and select all products. But once again, for this example, I'll just go with the one product right here. Now for the next step, we're going to look at how we want to present our discount. Do we want to give a fixed amount where it's set by a dollar amount? Or do you want to go with a percentage amount? For this example, we'll just go with a percentage and we'll go with 50% off. So basically when they see this discount, it's going to say 50% off of this product. Now the last things we're going to look at is the settings for this discount. So you could limit the quantity. You could put like, say, if you only want 10 people to get it, there'll be only 10 redemption codes. So only 10 people will be able to apply this code. And after that, nobody else with this code will be able to get that discount. You have limit validity period, which means you could start your discount on a certain date and a certain time and then end it at a certain date and a certain time. Or you could say no end date or just leave that toggled off. Then set a minimum qualifying amount. That's basically a minimum amount that the customer spends. And then set a minimum quantity. So maybe you want the discount code to apply only to people that have bought more than a certain amount of items. So maybe more than two items maybe more than one item. But for this example, we'll just leave all of these toggled off. 50% off on this one product. And this is gonna be the discount code. So once this is all set, we go to add a discount. And there it is. So now we have discount course tutorial. There's a code 50% off of Notion School dashboard. And then the cool thing right here, it also shows you the revenue for that product that you've gotten so far. How many people have used the codes, 
uh, the term, which means when did it start and when does it end? And then the status, if it's live or if it's not live. So now that you know how to create the code, the next thing we want to do is share the link. So if you click into the one we just made, you'll see on the right side over here, you'll get more details, pretty much the same details, the code, the discount, how many uses and the revenue, and then the specific product. And here goes the link. Before we click on the link, I'll just like to show you, you could duplicate this. You could edit the discount if you like, or you could just go ahead and delete the discount. So now we'll go ahead and copy the link. We'll open a new tab and we'll put it at the top. So now you can see it'll send us straight to the product page. So now it also says it right here, 50% off will be applied at checkout and the code is right there. So if you want your, your uh, customers to get sent straight to the product page, you'll just go ahead and share that link how I showed you right there. And then they'll go ahead and say, I, I want this. The discounts already applied. But let's say instead of going to the product page, you want to send them straight to the checkout page. That way it kind of reduces the friction. Uh, it also helps with your conversions too. The more people, the less buttons that they have to click, uh, it'll just go ahead and improve your conversion rates. It's going to help you get more sales and it'll make it easier for the customer to just go straight to checkout if that's what you're intending to do. So we'll go ahead and get this link again. We'll go ahead and open this tab. We'll add that link. And now we're going to add a little bit more to this link right here. So basically this question mark wanted equals true. This is all you need to add to it. Once you add the hyperlink to the product, then you just add this little bit extra and it'll send them straight to the checkout. So now if I click enter, it sends me straight to the product or sorry, to the checkout page. It also has the discount applied minus 50%. And now all they have to do is just go ahead and purchase the product. They don't have to worry about putting in no code. They don't have to uh, go that extra strip, that extra step to go from the product page to the checkout page. They're already here. They could already start buying. All right. So that's basically it. And that's how you create a discount code for, uh, or inside of Gumroad.